I'm gonna do a little research on my black velvet painting. I dropped 175 bucks on this. I need to make at least 250 and to make it worth my time. I'm never attached to anything all that much. If it's worth a lot, time to sell. I'm not finding anything on Googling black velvet Stevens, but what I did find is a website called Velveteria. It's the Museum of Velvet Paintings. The proprietor's name is Carl. I wonder if Carl would know about Stevens at all. By pure luck, Carl, the owner of the Velveteria, was on the road and passing through Vegas and was able to stop by and take a look at my painting. Right out this way. The minute I saw Carl's suit, I knew I'd call the right guy. So this Here is he it. Is. Huh? Yeah. So you mind if I touch it? Oh yeah, go ahead. By the way, Carl's touching the painting and looking at it and spending a lot of time just absorbing it. I can tell it's gonna be a quality painting and I'm gonna get some good news about the price. It's a nice, thick nap on the velvet, so it's probably a really high-quality velvet, maybe from France. Well, geez, I didn't realize there was different levels of velvet. Carl clearly sees value in this. How much, though, that's the question. How much you pay for it? You want to tell me how much you think it's worth first before I, before I tell you how much I pay for it? <laughs> I'd throw at least $200 or $250 on it. Okay. Or maybe upwards. Now, of course, if he had breasts, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, in the thousands. It's looking like you at least double what I paid. I hope you get a lot of money out of it. Well, thank you. Because it'll help me, because I got about 3,000 of these bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited about the painting, because it's a challenge for me to put out to the world what Carl taught me. But thanks, that's awesome. So the picture's got to be just right of this painting, and it's got to look good, and it's got to, the title's got to be great. I think it's going to be a good sale for me.